make these decisions based on what your budget will allow. All right, here we are. Glad to have you with us. Uh, where the customer took out running time and wants to put uh, a lifetime guaranteed, uh, basically floating floor system that has the rubber on the bottom already, so you don't have to put fog out. So you end up with all this grooves in the areas that the ceramic tile was, and he's already taken the ceramic tile up. So I wanted to show you guys the different choices that you have uh, and maybe some tools that would help you get there. Uh, first, the, less, the least amount of cost, I think this at uh, Harbor Freight, which I'm, I go there occasionally, um, was about a little less than $10. As a place to hit right here, and then you take a hammer, and then you also uh, maybe keep eyeglasses or something to keep stuff from coming down. So you would sit here and try to get that smooth so that that. And sit on there. You can do that. Um, it would take a while, but it would be inexpensive. And the fact that the camera might be twenty dollars and this might be ten. Um, I also have a hand scraper, which is about eight nine dollars. It's got a metal blade on it that can be replaced. This wheel at Harbor Freight is like $30, but this is a DeWalt, so it probably costs more. And, but what it does is it grinds it off. You're going to want to use eye protection, probably something like this, and you want to cover the, the doorway, um, maybe block off the vents so that you don't suck up that dust into your, um, your air conditioning system. Your filter will fog up. You can check it, though. Um, that way you keep but you would certainly want to keep that dust from floating out there if you did even a small room like this, and I'll show you why. So we're going to spin it.
So, just got started. There would be no time at all, and that dust would be filling so that you would have to wear a mask. And uh, <coughs> uh, you would certainly want to uh, block the door, windows, <laughs> let it out. Yeah, my cameraman Clay is choking. Believe me, I've done this. You get your eyes just get clogged up with dust. Every orifice. Uh, <coughs> so I went into town to buy a tool, and uh, I will show you that tool. It costs about one hundred and twenty-five dollars, uh, and you'll make decisions based on what your budget will allow. Uh, and that tool, uh, it came from Harbor Freight also. This is a, a chisel that does a scraping similar to this chisel. Uh, hammer. And uh, so right here, we kind of hold it at a 45 degree angle or so. inch long air scraper. It recommends a 30 gallon continuous or a 7 to 29 gallon intermittent but the one I have is smaller so it will take a while to keep this thing up. It has to rest. It requires 90 PSI which is not your little bitty compressor. Time you buy a compressor and that, if you don't have it, then you'll be out some money. So, we're going to use this and the other tools where we have to use it. So, here we go. We'll show you a little bit of it and then we'll cut away.
little bit. We're gonna find a box to put our put all this stuff in the back. Sweep up, sweep up, sweep up again. And uh, we'll come back to you when we get done. 